As the holiday season gets closer and closer, we're getting a clearer picture from experts about what things might look like this year. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez spoke with a local health official about their recommendations. Bridget, what are some of the suggestions for people to stay safe during the holidays? Because I know people are starting the whole planning process, even though it's months away. Yeah, they are. And Dr. Jennifer Vines says that the best protection for you out there is still getting the vaccine. And while getting tested for COVID-19 can provide some reassurance, again, she says it's not a replacement for the vaccine or feeling well. Halloween, Thanksgiving and Christmas could look a lot different this year compared to 2020. Last year at this time, health officials urged everyone to stay home and apart. It has changed this year. So as people think about their holiday plans, the best thing they can do is make sure that they're fully vaccinated. Multnomah County Health Officer Dr. Jennifer Vine says while testing for COVID-19 can give you some reassurance before you travel or host guests, it's not a substitute for the vaccine. So don't try to test your way into Thanksgiving dinner. For purely the purposes of travel, that's not that's not really the public health priority for how we use our testing supply. Um, but for people who do have access to testing wherever they are, um, it can provide additional peace of mind. Plus, right now, tests are hard to come by. We are still constrained as far as testing availability in our region. Um, and it's really not a replacement for uh, being fully vaccinated and, and, and feeling well. Dr. Vine says, as always, regardless of your vaccination status, you should get tested if you have symptoms or have been exposed to the virus. If you're feeling unwell, um, you should get a COVID test. You really should not be around people until you're feeling better, even if your COVID test is negative, because we have to think about um, the flu virus circulating this year, other viruses. If you happen to be somewhere with unvaccinated people, whether by choice or because children are not yet eligible, Vine says it's best to try to keep things outdoors or if you're inside, mask up. Halloween is a great holiday um, for getting together outside and often with people in masks. The consequences of an infection in a school age kid just leads to a lot of missed school, not just for them, but for many of their classmates. Dr. Vine says that you can get your COVID-19 shot and your flu shot at the same time. Just remember, it's two weeks out after that shot that you're fully protected. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12 Oregon.